Hi, all done. We're here for our timeshare seminar. Oh, oh yay, yeah, sure. Uh, You're going to learn how it's so cool to be the owner of your own plot of land in Colorado. Shut up. Shut up. Stop, stop, stop saying that. I'm sick of love Colorado. Colorado is a gorgeous state with lots of mountains. I heard there's diamonds there. There are diamonds. There's gold. There's diamond gold. Diamond gold. Oh there's, there's white gold. There's, there's black gold. Black gold. There's, there's Texas tea. Cheese gold. <laughs> Texas tea. Good lord. I think cheese gold is a Wisconsin. That's what Tom and Jerry like. You ever watch like those old cartoons and they have food and it's like, why does this look so good? I shouldn't have to bite this. Like, uh, yeah, so I give examples. Here's anime food. What are you doing? Yeah. So how many of you are new to this panel? Very cool, very cool. As you can see, this is a very small, intimate event where we. Can I think it's just because people don't know where this room is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's the deep history. To, to be fair, we didn't know yeah, where it was, lost. and we've done a panel in this room like every year of this convention. Yeah, so. yeah, on our way down here, we got lost. We got stuck in the cafeteria of the hotel. You made it. Who would it be? Do be? Hey, more people. I'm going to talk now. Um, so this is how the uh, How to YouTube panel, and uh, basically, I mean, I'll be real with you, it's just us just chatting with you, it doesn't matter what the question is about YouTube, it could be about, I don't know, how to mow yard, you know. You don't know how to mow your yard? I, I, I don't mow my yard forever. Either. Maybe we should start a YouTube channel on that. Strong pair of scissors. Yeah. The city has to, like, give me, like, a letter or something, like... Screw the city, man. That's why I live out in the forest, outside the city. Gotta live off the grid. Exactly. I'm, uh, I live on the fringe, if you know Straight what I mean. Straight off the grid. Alright, uh, I, uh, see very best of setting up cameras, so I'm gonna go YouTube! Shut up. I'm gonna get, uh, the ball rolling here. Um, my name is Saber Spark. This is Paleo. That's AC Race Best. So we all have YouTube channels. Um, and this panel is just us chatting with you about what we do. Uh, any questions you have for us about what we do, and I guess just tricks of the trade. Uh, also, just whatever. You can ask us, you know, what color is a banana, and we will try our best to answer that question. We don't know. We don't know yet. We haven't discovered that. We're not that advanced as a, of a society to know that just yet. How many of you all have YouTube channels that you make content in? Well, let's hear it then. Uh, Mr. What kind of channel do you have? Uh, I mean, Jay Young. I'm a musician. Jay Young? A musician? Very You're cool. Jay Young? Yeah. I need to get your size of the How about you? Uh, I'm Lord Max, and I've been doing game collecting for a long time, and I also play Dr. Games. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, what kind of games do you collect? Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's like me. Yeah, he's a collector of the fine arts of gaming as well. Like, Hi. just what, anything. I'm here. Hi, Ray. you want to I made talk it. some? Uh, yeah. No, I, um, uh, so, <laughs> just to, uh, I guess, warm things up a little bit, you should hear about how we got here. Yeah. Because it was the adventure of a lifetime. So, we're, we're up on the fifth level of the hotel, and right now the elevators are a little bit slow. I think there's an elevator that's down, so it's The just middle one's not working. And, and we didn't budget our time for that. Uh, I, was, I was transferring some footage from the Who's Line panel we just got done doing. And so, so we were on our way down, and we're like, you know what? Stairs. Perfect. We'll take the stairs. You gotta have those. And we're, we're walking down, and after you get past like the third level, everything starts to get dark. And, and you, see, you hear things, and you're like, what's that? And we burst through the door of the first level, the lobby level, and... What we perceived to be the lobby. And yeah. all of a sudden, there's just, like, racks of bread and... Yeah. And, like, all Talking this... in the distance. Maintenance stuff, and you hear, like, Employees someone... Employees only. Someone screaming. You're just like, what's happening? Someone's like, help me! And we're, we're walking around like, well, there's got to be an exit somewhere. And the only door we came up to said, if you touch this door, the alarm will go off. Yep. So we said, fine. And we turned around. I, I think we I tried to... We went up the next floor. And I, I walked around. <laughs> it was a bunch of, like, towels and blankets. And this guy walked past me. And I'm like, this isn't the right place to be. 
And then, uh, didn't he say something about like, he's like, I'm putting my shirt on right now. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, okay. okay. <laughs> and, and then uh, we went up another floor, basically raised went back to the other elevators. Haley and I had decided to go on an adventure and we discovered a service elevator that sounded like it was from like an alien movie. Was yeah. it? It was really creepy. It was. I was expecting like uh, something that happened like in Half Life. Yeah, like, like, fire stops, and then we have to fight. I don't know. So yeah. Right. So that's uh, that was our excitement. So I relate. Yeah. I was asking the audience about YouTube channels and what they do. Uh, we already asked these two gents. Anybody else? I saw you raise your hand. Uh, what do you do? Do a little bit of everything. A little jack of all trades. The LOL dolls? So, like, that's so new to me. That was, that was that was when I first felt like, okay, I can feel this generation gap now. Because I have two nieces, and they're all about those LOL dolls. And I'm like, oh, they're, they're just plastic, man. And I'm like, well, what was the things I collected? Just plastic, so. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's very cool. It's so weird to be like, that's a noticeable change. Because my generation, we're like, I guess we were the ones who at least for my age, we're teenagers when the internet arrived, or like pre-teens. Yeah. Now it's like, you guys are full-fledged, like, yo, I can get us, give me the Google map. Like, mom, don't worry, I can get us there. <laughs> Versus me where I'm like, uh, oh, Pokemon. Um, other folks who have YouTube channels, speak up, yes. Uh, basically why I don't watch channel is uh, some fanfic readings and uh, some of those Nice, very cool, man. Anybody else, don't be shy. No? Gotta start somewhere. That's, I eventually got to the point where I had to kick myself in the butt and say, just do it. Just do it. I mean, there's nothing to lose. Should we say what we do? Sure. Go ahead, Grace. What do you do? All right, Pally, what do you do? You do? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh. Um, Radio on cars, obviously. Yeah, no, I, um. I, I have kind of a random channel in the sense that I just I upload what I want when I want, but. Um, I, I have a couple things on there, like the uh, Bronies React series, which is the most successful thing I have going on the channel. Um, and uh, we actually have a panel for that tomorrow morning. Um, also, I have very, di like sometimes I'll make PMVs, um, you know, music videos with the show or various other things. I also have a channel that I have called the Low Budgets, where it's me uh, doing demolition derby type of events, like getting in the car, crashing them up, smashing into other cars, and uh, a lot of times we'll paint them up as cartoon characters. Uh, a lot of MLP characters make appearances on that. So yeah, just a bunch of like random stuff, like so some song parodies and Zootopia videos, and yeah, just a, a bunch of stuff. Halo. Yeah, I um. I do like movie reviews and stuff, and I used to do like reviews of uh, about everything, but I'm starting to like focus a lot more now since I've kind of, kind of changed up the way I do my videos. But uh, I mainly do like reviews of like animated movies, um, and I'll, I'll also like cartoons and stuff. So mm. like mainly like animation focused. So. Cool. And I do just cartoon reviews. That it, it shifts sometimes, but as of late, I've been doing things like what the heck is this bad movie about or. Or what ruined this property or something. It's been fun. What I'm ruined Saber Spark? What ruined me? High cholesterol. <laughs> oh, always been my go-to. Alright. People don't like your review stuff. Apparently. Especially if they're <laughs> British hobbits. This is a long story. <laughs> but I'm British. British. Yeah, yeah. He's from England. <laughs> that yeah. explains. For the audience, you don't know, I, I recently made a video that, uh, that ticked off the creator who made the movie. And he's like, he emailed me. He's like, this, your review is wrong. Uh, it was like a Christian animated movie. It was kind of low budget, and he's like, the, the, "That character wasn't Jesus. That was the Holy Spirit." So you're wrong, and I'm like, oh, "Crucify me!" Oh yeah, that's a very poor choice of words. <laughs> Sorry. <that's... laughs> was that not intentional? No. <laughs> that's really funny, actually. <laughs> when we got out of the elevator, by the way, there was this guy who was like not related to the pony convention at all. He had one of those roller bags. And he was like shoved in the elevator with a bunch of other bronies, and he you just tell he's kind of shocked about it all. And everybody else got off. You know, it was ourselves and him going to the top floor. The door opens up, and he's we're like after you. And he's like, 
But Thanks. He walks out like that, but his bag, which had the wheels on it to support it, were fl- was flipped around. So he's just dragging his bag. <laughs> he looked thanks. He was, he was gonna stop for nothing. He was ready to go. Um, but yeah, that was that was weird with the guy. He he took the video down, and I just kind of like I'm like whatever, moving on. Maybe that was the same guy that was in the elevator. Yeah, he, he's too tall. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Any questions from the audience about it? Beardy? What are you doing here? When college proved to be a dead end. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I guess for me it started off more of a as a hey I can have a, a channel just or my channel served more as a like a profile to be like I can press like and make a playlist for videos that I enjoy, or uh, now I can actually leave comments on videos that I watch. And it was more of me, it was, the profile served as more for me to consume media than to make it. But then after a while, I'm like, I can, uh, got a Windows Movie Maker, maybe I can make a video, which was just terrible, as every single movie on Movie Maker is, um, at least when you first start. Yeah. Speak for yourself. Oh, shut up, I've seen your content. Uh, <laughs> so that was um, how it started, and then just kind of went from that to making pony documentaries. And then uh, just eventually I thought, hey, let's just talk about cartoons in general. Yeah. And here I am. Um, well, I've been on YouTube for a while, but like the channel I have now is not my first channel. Because like, the channel I have now started in 2013, but I actually like had a channel. Has it been that long? Oh, jeez. Yeah. But, uh, back in my day. <laughs> and back in the My uh, first channel was <laughs> actually made like in 2006, like the year after YouTube started. And then. I made a newer one in like 2010 or 2011, mm-hmm. um, but I guess I always just sort of like kind of wanted to make videos and, and put them out there. Like I think even like, <laughs> actually, uh, I think either in middle school or like late in elementary school I had that, um, do you know that Lego Movie Studio set? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I had that with like the little webcam with this like 144p resolution yeah, yeah. Like, it's groundbreaking <laughs> yeah. uh, watch out Spielberg <laughs> uh, what about you race because I know that you did things like vacation stuff right yeah so for me um, I like like paleo I had an older channel um, where I was like I, I I don't know what exactly inspired it but I decided I'm gonna make videos like totally hammed up videos of my vacation that I went on like we went on a cruise to Alaska and I was like I'm gonna make this like a show on the travel channel and everyone's gonna come and be like what happens next and, and all three viewers were on the edge of their seat. they were they were it's funny because that was back in the day before YouTube was big on copyright music <laughs> so like now there's like three quarters of <laughs> yeah, I had, like, a bu- I had a bunch of music videos, like, on my old channel. Yeah, yeah, but I guess what inspired me was, um, at some point I was like, you know what, I want to get into video making. It seemed like fun, a, a fun way to goof off. YouTube was an easy way to share videos with friends. So, I was like, Let, let's do this. Let's, you know, mess around and make <laughs> some stuff that'll make my friends laugh. Um, you know, so there were videos that were getting like 15 views, but I was like, yeah. At the time, it wasn't about views. But that was an audience that was yours. Those 15 views, you yeah. earned that. Well, I mean, two of the views I earned, the rest were me. <laughs> refresh, 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 refresh. <laughs> but no, it was, yeah, so it was kind of just, I, I wanted to make stuff and, and get creative with it. And at one point, I decided, I'm going to make a movie with my friends in high school. And I don't know how I managed to round up. There were like, eight people in this movie that had to keep meeting constantly and somehow I managed to keep getting everyone together for that. When when you had your old channel, did you happen to have a video that just took out took off like and, and you didn't know why? Because I, I have one. There's there's one video I have. It was all I did was put old racing pictures to it and it was like some like song that I guess nobody could find anywhere except at my channel. So it got like a hundred thousand views? Maybe not. Maybe it's like fifteen thousand. I don't know. I haven't looked. The you know the thing that aggravates me about this old channel is I can't get I can't sign into it. I don't I don't know the email that was used for it, and I don't know the password. And not knowing the email, it's not going to help me. And so I can't get into it. So I can't even do anything with the old content. Like I want to go in and, and and pull that stuff off so then I can actually like 
maybe put it back out as like a, hey, here's yeah. something I did years ago, but I can't, <laughs> so that's aggravating. Yeah, because there was one that I had, um, uh, I, I called it, uh, and this was way before like Let's Plays were big on YouTube, was I, I called it like what not to do in Resident Evil 4. And like I, I videotaped the screen of my uh, my TV, and there's this one part where you're in Resident Evil 4, where there's this lake, and you if you shoot at the lake, the big salamander like monster comes out and eats you. So I just like recorded that clip and put it up, and it got like 500,000 views. Jeez. Yeah, because uh, like apparently like a few uh, gaming sites put it <laughs> like embedded on their on their site. It's cool. So back when people actually go to individual websites. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, in the back? Why do you want Beardy? <laughs> what kind of software do you use to edit your videos? Uh, I think we all use the same thing. Completely legal software that we paid for with our hard-earned money. Uh, Audacity is a great one that's truly freeware. Yeah. It's insanely good for what it is. Uh, it's for recording and editing audio. Sony Vegas has been my go-to for editing video clips. Uh, same. That and actually, I, they, they're doing an, uh, a rebundle of the one with yeah. uh, Sony Vegas Pro, so you can get Sony Vegas Pro 14 for like 20 bucks right Which now. Which is an absolute yeah. deal, because it usually costs like $400, $500. Yeah. So go to Humble Bundle, like subscribe to their emails or whatever, the newsletters. and Yeah, because they, they did that over like Christmas, I think. Yeah. And that it sold really well, so they're doing it again now. I, I bought it through that just to have it as a backup, because I found it online. <laughs> But uh, if you can get your hands on it through the Humble Bundle, I'd recommend. Yeah. yeah, and then um, for live streaming, like OBS is yeah. really good. It's, it's free, yeah. it's great, it's, it's easy. Uh, what else is there? I guess that's about, I mean, like, and for equipment, um, you can do things like the Blue Yeti microphone, which is, it can be a little expensive, 100 bucks, which is like not, you know, it's not, you know, 100 bucks, just take it. But if you can save up for it, I recommend it. It's good. I got a question for you. What? Um, two microphones I always hear about are Snowballs and Yetis. Yetis are better. Are they better? Yeah, Snowballs it's from the same company. Yeah, it's yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Laura has a Snowballs microphone, um, and it's it's good, uh, but the Yetis are better, in my opinion. I mean, it is. Uh, let's... Better. Yeah, yes. Did those microphones require pop filters? Uh, you can get them. Uh, you can get them. Yeah, yeah, like, for mine, I have, like, a, a cover that goes over it, so, yeah. like, it was just... Ten bucks on Amazon. Oh, like a like a windscreen? Yeah, it's a windscreen. Okay. Yeah. I That's bought nice. one for like ten bucks on Amazon where it's like you can just like kinda knob it onto the microphone and like it's got a little arm that you can like move around and position and then I just kinda put it over the microphone or in front of it. <laughs> and that does a trick. I Eat found, or hike or pick the pail of pickle peppers. I found the only place that I can record audio is in my closet with all my clothes. Same. And <laughs> so I'll be sitting in no ventilation. I'm sweating uh, like profusely. It's not rare to be like <laughs> by the end of the uh, recording session, two hours later, you're like in your pajamas or something, like things like that. Pajama bottoms or <laughs> what's left? Or shorts or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't want to use webcams, so I don't know. I, I, would, I would just, like, if you're using webcam, I would say just, like, get, like, a, some kind of Logitech one. That's what I have that has been, I, I've been using, like, since 2011. So I, I really need to get a new one. He does. Yeah. It sucks. <laughs> Says me. Yeah, I just use the one that was, <laughs> that came with the laptop whenever I'm doing any kind of live streaming that involves. I know on your, uh, uh podcast, the yeah. POS podcast. Yeah. Do you still do it where you have everyone's faces on screen? Yeah. So yeah. So I know for that I'll just use my my laptop uh, camera. That nowadays those are pretty good. I don't know if like they're preferred, but yeah, that's what I get away with. So. Yep. Any other questions? Not from Beardy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Those are good questions. Thank you for asking. They're the ones that are like good to get out of the way because folks are asking what kind of software do you use? Mm -hmm. uh, what is your greatest fear in life? And they, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, these questions can be just about anything, even, even if they're not so related to YouTube, that's okay too. We, we take just about any questions. How about this for the audience? Who, and this is not ego stripping, so we not even say our names, but who are your favorite YouTubers? What are some people you like to watch? My God, you all are a bunch of Logan Paul fans, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, dare you. I heard Silver Quill. Silver Quill? Yeah. He's good, he's good. Dr. Wolf, another good one. How about you? Uh, well, 
Okay, very cool. How about you? Uh, donkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, donkey's great. How about you? He's a good Oh, yeah, yeah. He's good. For those who don't know who Phil DeFranco is, he's really great for presenting unbiased news and information. He's good. How about you with the headphones? Okay, I've heard that one before. How about you, Joe? Either a mini lad or a uh, terrorizer. All right, all right. How about. Low budget TV. Sponsor plug. <laughs> Sponsor plug. <laughs> all right, how about you? Yes. Oh, <laughs> we gotta tell Pan and Momo Gun. He doesn't need to know. His ears yeah. too big. I see you with the ears. You're gonna say something. What about you? Yes. Uh, uh, Who is that? Alex Wasabi. Wasabi. I think I, is he a musician? No, I'm thinking somebody else. That's cool though. Uh, all these new people I can go check out. All right. Any other questions? Oh, I see you, sir. The first one you said, I, I didn't recognize that one. Sa Saber Spork? No, it's Sabre. Sabre? Sabre. That's not how you spell it. Sabre <laughs> Spork. Sa yes. Mr. Ponyator? Yeah. Uh. Who else has somebody that they want to show? We're, for, uh, for those that just came in, we're discussing YouTubers that people watch. Are there any that you guys have that are some of your favorite YouTubers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I It's funny. I There's a lot of uh, people that are like, yeah, you got to have this person. You got to have this person. DWK has been one that's, that's been brought up. Um, but yeah, anyone... Anyone else want to throw? What, what, Beardy, what, what YouTubers do you watch? Well, now we're asking you the question. Fair enough. Uh, Game Grumps, Jim Sterling, Rooster Teeth, Andrew Joe. He wasn't ready for this answer. Uh, <laughs> he was ready. XR, nice. What about you guys? Uh, uh, uh. I, it's weird. I like, I, I don't really have, like, I mean, there's day nine. Um, yeah. I like just watching watch compilations because it's easy for me to process and be like, yeah, just put it on. Or um, I guess, uh, gosh, I don't, I don't really watch that many channels. To be honest, it's weird. Yeah, I <laughs> I probably watch too much. Did you do? <laughs> I'm re I'm, recently I've actually been watching like hardware channels, like uh, 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 Linus Tech Tips and Bit hardware. Like, like, all right, this like here's a, a bolt. No computer hardware. What we have here. <laughs> I, um, I'm actually in the same boat as you, Saber, where I, I can't really answer this question outside of, like, friends' videos that I keep yeah, up with. I watch with. friend videos, and but I don't really watch many cartoon reviews of other people. I just, it's not, I don't, yeah, like, like oh, I don't care. It's just, like, I just don't get around to it. Yeah, I, I like, I, I watch you and Pan, but, <laughs> um, and there's some others, though. I like Cell Specs. I like her videos a lot. Yeah, she, she's, yeah. isn't she relatively new? No, no, she's been around for a while. Yeah, she does the analyst. Wait, right? Yeah, the analyst. Reacts. Analyst reacts. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I, I watch low budget TV. You're so <laughs> full of yourself. Do you know that? It's not full. I'm just. It's his own YouTube channel. Yeah, no, it's, it's like the low budget. Get alive. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> there was um, yeah, that's a racing channel that um is the oldest channel I'm a part of. It was we started that back in 2007. Um, we've been expanding. Joe's been helping out with some of our coverage deals. Now we live stream, so we've been been building things up from there. But yeah, yeah. So, is there anyone here? You mentioned that you're starting or get kind of getting going on YouTube. Um, let's see here. Now, now I'm feeling like we should ask the question, Saber. Go for it. Sorry, I'm. I'm, I'm Paleo. After you. What, what questions? The question. What? The question? The question. What's the question? The answer's 42. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not that question. <laughs> Judy. Is that the question? No, that, well, that is a question of the questions. But yeah, no, Judy, every, yeah. 
What, what's the question? I, I'm confused. And you know that Judy's the right answer, right? Thank you. All right. Well, wait, what did you ask? I said, what's the question? I'm confused. I was joking. I was oh. just... <laughs> like, is there something like big related to YouTube that we should... No. 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 But I mean, um, again, if, if you guys have any questions as far as... Like, Saber here, who yes. are... Right. You've, um, you found success um, with uh, kind of... As far as like the career side of this. Um, I guess. What too. have you found that has worked for you? <sighs> oh man, all you gotta do. Besides your good looks and your. Eh. Let's put my face with them and go. You mean the cartoon version of your face? Cartoon my face. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, what you have to realize about YouTube is it's massive, all kinds of people. Um, some audiences are small but dedicated, and they will go out of their way to support you. Some audiences are massive, but they are fleeting, and they'll be like, see ya, moving on to the next thing. Um, for me, I found a nice little niche where. Like, I do Western innovation reviews, and I mean, I'm gonna be real, like, it's a learning process. Uh, like, Paleo knows so much more about animation off the top of his head than I do, by a long shot. But uh, I guess that's why I kind of throw myself into it, like, I gotta learn about Nickelodeon this week or something. Um, and I try to do a video per week, because that you know, consistency helps on YouTube, because YouTube's like, okay, you're actually making stuff, so we're gonna start pushing it, and um, I guess, uh, I don't know, it's not like there's a playbook for you to go and like, this is how you win. One plus one equals two. <laughs> By the way, did anybody see the new trailer for the Incredibles movie? I'm sorry, I say that because there's uh, that scene where he's like, math is math is math. Why would they change math? I need to watch it. Oh, it's good. I can't wait to see that movie. It looks so good. It yeah. looks fantastic. Oh, it, I can't wait. It, Disney's kind of up against the wall, though, because everyone's like, it better be good. Oh, it's going to be good. <laughs> the guys who make Brad Bird, I think it's the one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it looks fantastic. I love it. I can't wait. Um, and then Wreck-It Ralph 2 comes out later this, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, November. So yeah. I was very excited about that one. Oh, uh, yeah. Breaks. I'm too. Breaks. Yeah. I don't, why isn't it Wrecks They can't the say, I, I, I don't Wreck-It yeah. Ralph wrecks the internet part two. They'll let you blue, blue, blue. I don't know. <laughs> um, well, another thing that uh, we've been asked at some of these, um, panels in the past, so I'll just bring this up and see what you guys want to say here is, uh, I know that different YouTubers, depending on where they're at, Networks are a big thing that mm -hmm. have been discussed it's about like is yeah. it worth it what, like which ones are good You know should I bother like for the longest time? I I never like channel awesome <laughs> Sorry, I'll say it. there's a topic <laughs> um, But as far as as far as like networks go like do, do you guys think that they're I, I know you both are part of the same one right? So right? we're part of a network called Frederator and for those who don't know the there are YouTube networks called MCNs, multiple channel network or something like that. Yeah. Right? And I guess their purpose is to be consultants, to be like, okay, um, we know good practices to help your channel find popularity, what kind of upload schedule you should have, what kind of content you should maybe make, how often you upload, and, and editing tips and voice, and whatever, everything. Um, that's their job, and in return, they take a cut of the money you make every month because you get paid monthly on YouTube, typically through Google. But once you're in a network, the network gets the money from Google, and they divvy it up. They give you whatever I don't know, seventy yeah. percent. You get thirty. Oh no, that's horrible. Uh, they you get seventy <laughs> percent. They get thirty. <laughs> you take what you can get. Yeah, you get the, you get the majority. <laughs> we helped you out. You mean yeah, yeah, here, here's you. some crackers. Yeah. Keep going. Get one of y'all box YouTuber. Yeah, there were some like really bad networks at the beginning. Yeah. Like like Machinima was like it, it was like a sixty forty split. It, it was, like, was oh. ironclad like yeah. documents. Like, and there's completely. you want to be careful because there's a lot, especially like dip. I, I don't know where the line is drawn where these networks start <laughs> doing this, but there's a lot that will like send you the hello. YouTube name. I've done that yeah. before. Yeah. Hello, uh, Saber Spark. <laughs> yeah. You're a big fan of your content, Saber Spark. I love <laughs> watching your videos. We Thanks. think you'd be a great <laughs> fit here at Multi Channel Network. Yeah. Right. yeah. So but, um, they, they just want your money. What, it, yeah. One thing that uh, like people uh, used to say and say again, or I guess um, because. Multi-channel networks kind of po started popping up when uh, I guess people had it started having I guess copyright issues mm -hmm. or stuff. Um, but then, like as that started to go away a little bit, people said, "Oh, networks are useless now." But now we have the demonetization thing. It's weird, and it's some... like, well, we need them again. <laughs> well, the thing is, and some networks won't go up to bat for you. Like, 
it's more because here's a big problem about YouTube is sometimes something happens, you know, your channel gets taken down or it gets taken down, and you're like, what do I do? There isn't a YouTube hotline you can call and get an answer right away. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, this is Google, and uh, there's nobody here, so you can ask a question. Maybe someone might reply in about seven months. I have a story. Go for it. <laughs> How many here know who Little Shy is? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I actually just had a conversation with him the other day because uh, he's going through. He's actually helped um, uh, me out with some copyright issues I've had with uh, Brownies React in the past, and um, he's been trying to figure out some things that he's been having. So, so we were talking the other day, and we both were like, they have this thing now where oh, if you have a certain number, I think it's like ten thousand subscribers or some or twenty five. I don't know. They, they're like, oh, if you have this many subscribers, you can try out our, our uh, beta system where we can help you through chat. And I was using this um, on April Fool's Day. Did anyone see what I did on, on my channel? Yes. Yeah. So for those that don't know, I did a live stream because I've been struggling to upload this video, of which is over 15 hours long. But I did a, a live stream of what would have happened in the movie Zootopia if Judy had never gone back for the fox repellent. And the joke is that the camera angle never changes because she never goes and grabs the fox repellent, so it just sits there watching the fox repellent for literally 15 hours until she gets home at 8.30 at night. And it goes through the whole like sequence of lighting and everything. And I, I've been trying so hard to get this video uploaded, but my channel won't do it. But my the other channel, Low Budget TV, which has nothing to do with cartoons, we were able to upload it there. So I'm like, there is a way. For some reason, my channel won't do they it. They do exist. And they do exist. So I, I, I contacted through their support, YouTube support, and it's like, oh, thank goodness they have something like this. And I don't know if I was talking to a person <laughs> Or a robot because yes. they're like, "Hey, how are you?" And I'm like, "Oh, I'm good. How Welcome are you doing?" Welcome to Google. And they're like, "Good." I'm like, "Cool. All right." <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's just after a while they start repeating things, and See, you're like, "The problem is you're talking to Mark Zuckerberg." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was. It's weird. I don't actually know if it's a it's a person. It's in. Like again, it's in beta, so maybe it's like <laughs> they won't know the difference <laughs> if we just act like LOL can't help you. Um, Google used to have, and YouTube used to have uh, support uh, contact, but then it's just it's so massive that they're like we can't, we just can't anymore. Yeah, you can there's tips, there's troubleshooting, and maybe you can put in a, a you know ah, ah, someone help me. Um, and occasionally, like, there are folks who are just blessed on YouTube or Twitter, and they just know who to talk to to get things fixed. Um, I think I was, what's the name of that guy that Tom told us about? Tom from MySpace? No. Um. <laughs> uh, there's, there's an account that's apparently, like, a legend amongst YouTube accounts where they can, like, bring channels and videos back from the dead. I guess they just know the right. As long as that person deems that your fight is worth fighting. You might work at YouTube. They're like, maybe. Whoops, so from the know. file cabinet of dead videos. All I know is here's the best advice when, mixed con when it comes to making content. Make something transformative. Like, make something that you can change, that you can own, uh, high school water, um, <laughs> and uh, that way you can avoid problems like that in the future. That's something I need to do moving forward because my last video got taken down because a guy claimed too much of his movie was in it. Though to be honest, I don't know why he made a fuss out of that because I was basically giving free advertising. Um, but it's, I, it's a long story. But basically, uh, I, I took the video down and uh, I, I realized I'll have to use less footage and try to make it more transformed so this isn't even mm -hmm. you know a question. Yeah, but I think the next video you're doing, you won't have a problem with it. <laughs> Unless, okay, so my next video is this Lion King ripoff that was made by the North Koreans, and it's called Simba King Lion. And I want to tell you, it's so amazing because it is, there's three series. The first one is like, okay, this is like a mixture of Lion King meets the Jungle Book meets Bambi. And it's nuts. It's a massive crossover, basically. And Me meets like, the World Cup. Well, not yet. Not yet. Not oh. yet. That's cool. oh. Basically, in the, in the third episode, uh, it's great also because the cast of Arthur from PBS like voices the show, so you're like, that's weird. <laughs> And like, what are you traders doing working for North Korea? But um, so, you know, but in the, the, the third episode, uh, Simba gets angry 
because he wants to have a staring contest with the sun. <laughs> and he's like, I want to learn how to secret sun. And the sun's like, mm -hmm, Simba, you'll never learn. I'm eternal. And, some, and Bambi, I'm sorry, Bimbo the deer, because you can't call him Bambi, he's like, <laughs> he's voiced by Buster the bunny from Arthur, like, listen, Simba, you're going to go blind. <laughs> you're going to go blind. So, uh, yeah. So speaking of the World Cup, um, oh, by the way, uh, it's not Scar who's the villain in this series, it's Shere Khan, the tiger from the Jungle Book. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. And uh, at the, so that series ends. Oh, and by the way, they have magical powers. They do. They can shoot lasers. There's a great part where, like, Simba kill, kills Shere Khan, and Shere Khan just flops his lifeless body to the ground, and Simba's like, yeah, and holds his paw out and shoots a laser and turns him into concrete. <laughs> Go figure. But the second series, it's called Simba Jr. Goes to the World Cup. Yes, they play soccer. <laughs> and in the third series, the third series is a combination of Lion King, meets Jungle Book, meets Bambi, meets Power Rangers, meets Snow White, meets Tarzan, meets soccer, meets torture, <laughs> meets everything basically that's ever been made. It, it, Bible. <laughs> wasn't it uh, Ready Player One? Or yeah, that, Ready that Player was One. like name a name a more ambitious it's crossover. crossover. Simba King Lion. It's called Winner of the Golden Child, and basically, it's this massive crossover of nonsense. It's the most fanfic <laughs> thing I've ever seen. It's an actual show made by North Koreans, technically written by the Italians, but the North Koreans animated it and directed it, and it's just it's just so crazy. It is ridiculous. <laughs> The craziest part of it, and I'm just gonna not be done, is there's a part where Simba and his friends go to the sewers of New York and have a fight with a bunch of rats in the sewers and they have flamethrowers. That's the show. <laughs> it doesn't it? It's ridiculous. I can't wait to share it with you guys. I mean, I'm, I'm, wow. The video is coming out this uh, Friday. It's ridiculous. Please check it out. It's great. Yes. 2D. It's from the 19, it's from 1996 and 98. So it was right after Lion King, and the North Koreans and the Italians were like, let's cash in. But what if they had magical powers? <laughs> and a deer named Bimbo. Was that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, we did enough. There's actually a part where I started screaming when I was watching it um, because this Simba's daughter has a crush on a dog from New York named Fox who actually has an Australian accent, and she gets super angry at him because she was flirting with somebody else. So she goes, this is a kid. She goes to a bar and gets drunk, and she <laughs> finds her husband, dog, and she's like, you son of a god, and she throws a bottle of cognac at his head, and it's ridiculous, because then they get married, and one of their wedding gifts was a bottle of cognac. <laughs> I think I'm saying it right, cognac, isn't that the... Cognac, cognac. thank you. Anyway, I drink too often sometimes. All right, next question. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. thanks. <laughs> How much time we have left? We've got about... Can do math. 18 minutes. <laughs> um, I know one thing going back to um, talking about how difficult it can be. For those that are uh, doing the YouTube stuff, um, Saber mentioned how, like, uh, when it comes to, I guess, the safest route of making videos, it often helps if you own the majority, if not everything that's in the video. Yep. Um, and sometimes you can be hit, I guess, off guard and not realize what you were filming or doing, oh, that's copyright. And we recently had that happen on the Low Budget TV channel that we were doing where we were uploading um, Monster Jam videos. And Monster Jam came at us all at once and just basically said, they dropped the hammer on us. And um, if you get three strikes, on YouTube, and it's weird, I guess like companies can determine how many strikes they want to give you, mm -hmm. because they took down 10 of our videos and gave us two strikes, to which we're like, how does that work? We're like, uh-oh, maybe that's all they wanted to take down, and then three days later they took down like 20 more videos, and third strike hit us. And what happens is your channel goes away. Your channel yeah. literally gets demolished. YouTube and we're like, a very three strike yeah, now policy. And, and it sucks because this is a channel that we've had that's been going for, since 2007 and we're like no there's so many old videos here and and, uh, and we what we were able to do and if anyone ever has this kind of copyright deal they I think they give you an email about 
who hits you with the copyright. Yep. And you can contact them yep. and try and negotiate your channel. Like, I know you had to do that with. <laughs> and they have the option where they can remove the strikes if you yeah. can find a new yeah. or something. So Monster Jam told us, they're like, well, you have to take down all your Monster Jam videos. And like we had like 500 videos. <laughs> and we're like, oh, God. Yeah, I can see why maybe they're a little bit like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, but here's here's the uh, here's the problem that they're going to face. And, and part of why I'm like, I'm going to keep looking deeper into this, is that Monster Jam themselves announces on their Twitter, announces on their uh, TV coverage, because um, the way that you go, that you go to like a baseball stadium to watch these events, and they promote people posting videos online. They ask you post your videos online. So I'm like, okay. So doesn't that mean you can't say no? Not like that. You got to do it. We it's weird. It's like it's like yeah, do it, but not you. You think they not would not take it down, but just take the money instead? Because sometimes yeah. they can either take your video down. And sometimes take your video down and you get a copyright strike. Sometimes they just say, okay, you can keep the video up, but guess what? Any money you make now goes to us. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they do nothing and they're chill. Like, <laughs> like Cartoon Network's pretty chill about the content you can put up, um, as long as it's not like a complete episode rip or something. Yeah. And, and to be clear, by the way, the reason we had so many videos is because, again, we'd been doing this for years. Like, it's not like, oh, this year we put out you know 200 videos it, it, it's just that we had so many that were logged from years of us going to these events and you know we were we were spending the money to you know get tickets going out to the events the they weren't having any issue getting people into the stands and whatnot um and yeah it, it's it's just so weird because sometimes that'll blindside you and then you're like oh what do i do which is another it's reason scary. why i've finally uh, leaned toward the network side of things because I'm like, at least you can get some solid advice from people who know what they're doing. And usually like like the network I'm a part of, if you really want to play it super ultra safe, you can go, all right, legal team from network, can you please watch my video and let me know if it is if it is okay or not? And they will do that. Uh, it might take like a few days to get back to the team where they're like, okay, yeah, this video, it's fine. Versus like, oh my gosh, it's 70% of The Last Jedi, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> You're like, I'm trying to steal the money. So. Do you guys like The Last Jedi? Yeah. Okay. Still. Is there anyone that didn't like The Last oh, Jedi? Oh, biting their lips going, oh. <laughs> No one wants to say, oh, no. yes, Beardy, why didn't you like The Last no. Jedi? No. Lots of <laughs> That's like a political answer. <laughs> La, bum, bum, bum. It was a long movie. Yeah. I have got you. It was, a good, it, it was a good James Bond movie. I like the casino part. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, I'm very not much... Like, I wouldn't call myself a Star Wars fan. I enjoy seeing the movies, but, like, I'm not someone who knows anything about, like, outside... Yeah, you're not really much right. of a fan of movies in general. <laughs> Especially ones with animated rabbits. Okay. What am I wearing? <laughs> Take it off and burn it! <laughs> Haley was like, I need to borrow a shirt. Zootopia Where's Larson's Sharpie? <laughs> uh, any questions from the audience? We've been kind of just going with our own stuff. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, the copyright stuff doesn't necessarily affect me as a musician. But what has affected me uh, recently is changes in a lot of what YouTube promotes. They've been shifting more towards um, longer form content uh, mm -hmm. that is uploaded on a regular schedule rather than smaller produced works. Has that affected any of you guys at all? Funny enough, it's affected me for the better. <laughs> yeah. Um, YouTube used to be where a view is a view, and a video could be six seconds long, and there'd be like a, a million views, and it's like, sweet. And that really worked in favor for like short form content, especially animations. And then when Let's Play started to arrive in like 2010 or whatever, they were like, wait a second, the longer the video, the more ads you can put into it. Okay, animators, get the heck out of here. Uh, and then they start, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, if, if I'm pretty sure it's what happened. I think so. Let's Play has just changed the game. And animators were no longer really in a good spot because animations take forever to make. And for only like, you know, a minute of animation takes months to make, more yeah. often than not. And you're not making money off of a minute of footage versus, because uh, to YouTube, they don't care what the content is, as long as they're watching it. Uh, you can make a 30 minute animated movie and it's 
gorgeous, it's beautiful, and a million people watch it, it's fantastic, cool. Or I can make a let's play of me playing it, a game, for 30 minutes, it's a million views. Guess what? YouTube doesn't care, all right? Two-hour vlog of being the dick to people in Japan. Yes. <laughs> I, th uh, I thought he was gonna say like being a dick at a bro no, pony convention. I'm like, no, no, excuse. No, you did, he did say that. No, I agree. <laughs> I agree. No, uh, but basically, YouTube doesn't care as long as someone's watching, and like that's why musicians really aren't welcome as much. Like, because they're like I mean, music at least people who haven't quite established themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Music videos have, will always. And, or have and seem to will be the they continue to remain to be the champions of YouTube because folks just like to pull up a music video and listen to it and you'll see like videos with like 500 million a billion views. Does Despacito back up again? I heard that some people took the video down. What? Yeah, so they apparently got, what's that got against it is up. It still kept its views. Okay, it's some hackers apparently like, like deleted the video. Wow. <laughs> so like, it was it was siphoned them so. Yeah, I really <laughs> so I did it. Yeah. All right, any other questions? Yes. SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Yeah. Uh, SoundCloud's trying to die too. SoundCloud's not as much anymore. Really? Yeah. What, where are you finding works for musicians? So, uh, the main traffic honestly comes from, um, at least for me, from promotions by other third party sites. I have. I have a couple of places, YouTube and SoundCloud are my main, people can just listen to this. Uh, DistroKid also helps getting stuff on like Spotify for people to listen to, and you get a little bit of streaming revenue from that, but uh, same there, I'm also looking for a better home for people who will seek out music. Because SoundCloud works still, it's just slowly kind of... Destroying the Yeah, internal... But what am I supposed to post now when I make a popular tweet? <laughs> Follow me on SoundCloud. How much is like how many tiers do they have at this point on SoundCloud? Like like the three. three. There's three now. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Other questions. So I think we've about like, ten minutes left, I believe. Yes. Yeah, you guys got. What are they looking for in the algorithm? I. You know it's weird. Uh, Fortnite videos. Fortnite. <laughs> you know it's weird. Fortnite is. I first heard of it back in December. Um, I was like, I was like, oh, it's like a PUBG thing, but that's what I thought. Yeah. But then apparently Fortnite's just surging forward because it's because PUBG's unfinished. Yeah, PUBG's basically unfinished, and, the, and from what I was told, PUBG was made by some developers using another engine, while Fortnite is being built and developed by the guys who developed the engine, so they're more familiar with yeah, it's it. Epic. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they're based also, in North Carolina, by the way. Oh, whoop de doo <laughs> North Carolinian barbecue. But uh, basically, um, Fortnite looks also more stylized, and, and also, I guess, like, it, it, was, it was a bit of a moment where it's like, wow, how about that? Uh, there's a guy named Ninja, and he is insanely successful and popular. Apparently, he makes over a million dollars a month from doing this stuff. He had a live stream where Drake, the actual musician, joined him. So you know you've made it when, like, A-list celebrities are like, can I come play with you? And it's like, wow, what a time to be alive to see, like, Hollywood coming to the internet. Because typically Hollywood's like, oh, scoff. You're if not I, really an actor. If I made that much money in, like, that short amount of time, I would just, like, Retire. quit. Yeah. <laughs> like, quit afterwards. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm good now. <laughs> Somebody from the IRS, should we, should we audit them? <laughs> <laughs> They're gamers. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, um, Fortnite's going to be popular. But, like, I've noticed a surge in video essays, like, in the last year or two, where people almost kind of want to be told what to feel and reaffirm, like, why, uh... Why the last Jedi, Jedi sucks. Why the last Jedi was secretly brilliant. <laughs> or something where it's like, like, uh, the true meaning of the ending of Annihilation or something. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, I guess, more of a long-form content and just kind of discussion, which I personally, um, that's like more of my wheelhouse, I guess, making some more about cartoons. But uh, yeah, I don't know. You're starting to see more sophisticated content and it takes a bit more work and um, people would like that. And yeah. also Let's Plays continue to be successful. It's just, it's harder to get into Let's Plays now because the trend, I wouldn't say it's dying, it's just that it's a very established, Genre and it's hard to get into, but 
I mean, it's not, I there's, guess. There's certain, like, genres of videos that I think will always be around. Like, reviews in general, of, yeah. like, anything, is always going to be around. Fail videos will yeah. always be around. Vine <laughs> compilations will always be around. A amen to the fail videos always being around. Just yeah, well, I see <laughs> some of them, and I'm like, I can make better fail videos. Like, not me starring in them, but me compiling know. them. So, I don't know. Uh, what kind of drink did you get? Nice. Very nice. What kind of drink did Rarity get? Old fashioned. <laughs> okay. Um, any other questions from the audience? Yes. It's not really a question, but I haven't actually noticed that uh, within the past one to two years, uh, it seems that animation videos have actually like started increasing and more people actually getting into it. And I've seen like a lot of people doing it, a lot of people subscribing to it. It seems that the animators had to make somewhat of a compromise because like there will always be Animation and and there's that recent. You know what? what? It's the animated bloggers. It's the storyboard. Yeah. yeah. In a way where it's like yeah, like animatics. animatics. That's yeah. That's like I don't have enough time to make this move and fluid, but I have enough time yeah. to get like poses like that. And uh, one of the people on Frederator Network is that Rebecca girl, and she does yeah. like stories with her little like storyboard animate or animatics, and it's people love that. And it's like okay, animators, you figured it out. You don't have to go full force, but just enough to make a little bit of visuals that move around enough to keep the attention of the viewer. That's been working out. I've always felt bad for animators because they, <laughs> I mean, talk about people that put a lot of time and effort <laughs> into their stuff, and then sometimes it's like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, they, there's a lot of effort that goes into those, and it's just like, sometimes it's you just want them to. <laughs> I remember when that. I was a kid and I was watching like Disney movies, and I was like, how do they do this? Like, how do, how do these characters move? Uh, do they just draw pictures in kind of like a flip book? Nah, that sounds way too hard. That can't be how it's done. And I'm like, oh my god, it actually is how it's done. Oh lord. Uh, so shout out to like the old Disney animators who are like truly masters and founders, legends of the craft. What's that? James Baxter. James Baxter. Dude, his if you I, was something a lot of fun to do is go on Google. And look at just like the line art animation, not line art, but like yeah. basically the, an the the sketches of of models and animations before they've been colored in. And I don't know why, but it just it kind of is a bit more. Yeah, just typing like James Baxter, you'll yeah, see a lot of them. Absolutely. James Baxter is a master of that craft. <laughs> All right, we got about four minutes left. So, lightning round. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> so, so what we do with lightning round, we, get, we want you guys to just come up with anything. Anything, just random questions. Fire them off. We're Get gonna into make it. it. Don't be afraid to ask. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. What's that? <laughs> six a.m. It was six a.m. All right. Next. Yes. Who would win? Paleo dolphin lesson or race? Judy lesson. No one wins. Next. <laughs> I win. Yes. No, I, I win. win. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the moment you were drunk, I yeah, I apparently I don't. Nope. <laughs> Next question. Beardy, ask me a question. So, after the first order Yes. Well, you see, when Jar Jar Binks, <laughs> they have a picture of Jar Jar in the hangar and scares off the Empire. I don't know, Beardy. It's almost like it's a bad movie. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go to a casino world. By the way, if you all like The Last Jedi, cool. Uh, we're just being nitpicky. All right, question. Oh, screw Worst pony. Worst pony. Cheers. Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Them. <laughs> yes. Worse. So uh, how do I get YouTube to come to my house and record me? <laughs> That's a good question. Finally, someone with a real question here. Uh, jeez, man. Call, you, call you don't want hotline. You don't want to know the answer because you might get arrested. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, nah, it's all I hand. Yes. No. Moving on. But. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, Kana or Nanaji? Uh, Nanaji. 
Oh, uh, anime. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> we got two minutes left. Come on, folks. We can do dig it. Dig deep. Just Ask a any random game. question. Any question in the world. Yes. Demolition Derby stuff. Oh, I didn't say that the first time. I do probably sketch comedy videos with my friends. Unboxings. <laughs> Unboxing. Where the friends. money's at. <laughs> like probably like thrift store, like sh like shopping thing, like trying to find <laughs> retro games. And Food stuff. reviews. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, least favorite model of the car. Uh, the, least favorite. The, the 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 one that blows up on me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which car are you driving? <laughs> Question. Favorite 2010s cartoon? Ooh. Ooh. What? Um, that, that isn't um, ponies, I guess? That's what I was thinking. Uh, Adventure Time for me. Adventure Time, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, the kind that you can hear. <laughs> Generally anything that revolving around rock. Soundtrack. Instrument or orchestra. All right, we got one minute left. Yes. yes. Coffee mugs? Uh, I have one that my girlfriend got me that says extra thick on it. <laughs> True story. I have a I have a Zootopia coffee mug. I don't drink coffee. Well, I don't either, but I have a coffee mug. I know, but my dad has a ton that I bought him. So. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a Jurassic Park one. I also I got, have a Rainbow Dash one, because she's best pony. All right, on that note, Beardy, last question. What's that? Elvis yes. Girls. Um, TF2. I haven't played either. Who just said TF2? I did. Yeah. You mean Overwatch? All right, guys, thank you for joining us for our YouTube panel. You guys are the best. We appreciate your your attendance. Yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you know, even on stuff you're you can ask us during the con or on Twitter. We'll be around tomorrow and Sunday. You all have a fantastic day, and we'll mm -hmm. see you all later. All it's right. night. Yeah, yeah. It's 10 a.m. tomorrow we'll have a, a panel in the main hall. I think it's the Ernie's Rack panel. So, see you then.